multiple coal companies warning of major financial trouble. This field produces 300 megawatts of power. Hitting the 50 gigawatt target will need 150 times more. The UK now has 14 gigawatts of solar generating capacity. The government hopes that will increase by up to five times by 2035. In 2022, it was found that 77% of the UK population supports the government building more wind and solar farms. Due to the price cap on energy generated from renewable sources, this would in turn reduce energy bills. This video will cover a new massive project which took a loan of 1 billion euros alongside several other recent projects which use less conventional methods to generate electricity. 1 billion euros is a lot of money, but the project by IKEA Capital is expected to cost more than 2 billion euros. So where will that be spent? So this will be used to fund the development of a new 2.6 gigawatt renewable energy pipeline and the pipeline will include more than 50 projects primarily solar photovoltaics and onshore wind assets the pipeline will have an estimated yield of 5.3 terawatt hours per year which if you are wondering is equivalent to 0.19 billion pounds worth of electricity considering current uk prices it is expected that this volume of electricity generated will supply 1.4 million households and it is also expected that this project will be complete over the coming three years in the Iberian region. IKEA currently manages a portfolio of more than 8.2 gigawatts, which develops and operates solar, wind, hydropower and battery storage assets. This has increased from 3 gigawatts in 2020, which demonstrates their rapid expansion. And there have been numerous recent occasions where IKEA Capital has bought existing renewable energy projects to add to its portfolio. With this new investment, it is believed that many other similar acquisitions will be made in the near future in the Iberian region. All sources of energy have limits that can't be exceeded. But we're pretty close to wind and solar limits. Despite PR claims about big gains coming, there just aren't any possible. And wind and solar only work when the wind blows and the sun shines, but we need energy all the time. I bet you didn't think from walking around you could be generating electricity. A company called PaveGen in the UK has created smart tiles to make every step count, harnessing kinetic energy from movement. Such technology overcomes the concerns associated with solar and wind power, such that weather conditions won't directly affect output so much. The tiles work because of the concept of piezoelectricity, such that when they are subject to pressure from someone's foot, an electrical current is generated. Currently, the kinetic tiles are very expensive, costing £80 per square foot, and given that they have such a short lifespan of only five years, it is difficult to recoup the initial cost. However, through cutting-edge technology being developed with further research, it will be possible to bring their price down. On top of that, you've got to consider the application of such technology used to capture kinetic energy from other fast-moving and heavier objects such as in concerts and in roads. Pavagen also suggests that its technology can be used in visitor management systems to determine the number of people in a given location at one time, and that considers that each footstep generates approximately five joules of energy. So moving on, hot mineral springs in Bath, a city in the UK, were discovered more than 5,000 years ago, but it took until 2,000 years ago by the Romans before they were utilized for bathing and for relaxing. But in 2021, Bath Abbey activated their renewable energy system, which captures geothermal energy from the hot spring water that flows through the famous Roman baths. If you are enjoying the video, please do leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. It does really help out the channel. I have many other videos exploring similar topics on that. Beneath the Roman baths, around 1.1 million liters of hot water flows which stays constantly at 40 degrees Celsius all year round. The system contains 10 custom-built heat exchangers which collect the heat and use it to heat the historic abbey and the adjacent row of cottages which consist of the abbey office, the song school and volunteer facilities. Stockholm Central Railway Station, the biggest and the busiest in Northern Europe. More than 250,000 people come through here every day. 
Every one of these travelers gives off a small amount of body heat as they rush to catch their train. That heat is now to be recycled to help power a new office building next door. Another really interesting project, which is actually from 2010, comes from Stockholm in Sweden and its central train station, where about 250,000 people pass through each day. The system developed uses surplus body heat within the station to warm a nearby 17-storey building, helping to reduce the energy consumption of that building by around 10 to 25 percent. So how it works is that heat exchangers are installed in the station's ventilation system, which absorb the surplus body heat and use it to warm water in underground pipes. That water is then pumped to the nearby building where it is incorporated into the main heating system. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to support the channel please like this video and also subscribe to the channel.